Hey guys, it's Nick from F150LEDs.com. Today we're here with our 2005 Ford F-150 and we're showing you how to install our Paladin Series Cree XTE 5 watt LED bar here behind the grill. We use our own custom harness, uh, some custom brackets here that makes the install extremely easy. The video can't pick up how bright this bar is, but it emits in fantastic light. It uses our custom optics here, which provide a great distance, plus the bar's curve, which, which gives you a great uh, flood beam pattern as well. So you get the best of both worlds as far as distance and width, all wrapped up in a, into a single roll, single row LED bar. It's extremely easy to install and we're gonna show you how it's done right now. So this is the F150LEDs.com custom install bracket for your 26 inch bar. It's gonna make mounting the bar here extremely easy. Uh, basically all that you need to do is look behind this uh, rubber uh, pad here and down behind the bumper, there's gonna be a single bolt that we need to remove. Once we remove that bolt, we'll be able to set our bracket down in place just like so and then put our uh, bolt right back through it to secure it against the truck. Uh, you can use a size 10 socket to get that bolt removed and we're gonna do it right now. Okay, so we've got our bracket installed. One thing to, that you wanna make sure of is that your bracket is on the inside of this little lip uh, of the bracket that's holding this bumper pad in place. So now we'll repeat the process on the other side and be ready to mount our bar. Now simply take the included hardware with this uh, shorter bolt and hold your uh, bar up against the bracket on one side and thread the bolt into the side of the bar. You wanna thread down about 80% and then we'll switch to the other side. Now that our bolts are in 50% on each side, take the included hardware and we'll tighten down the rest of the way. You wanna do this uh, gradually on both sides so you're tightening at the same time from both sides and both brackets. Uh, once these bolts are in 50%, you'll notice there's a little threading exposed, but after we come back and tighten the brackets all the way against the bar, it's gonna be extremely rigid and tight. After securing our LED bar, the next step is to connect our harness. So this is our custom IP68 heavy duty waterproof connectors here. You'll notice the LED bar side has the male connector ends with the two male prongs and the uh, harness to battery side has the female end. And there's also a, a notch cut out in the top. So just align that and push them together firmly and then bring this lock ring over the uh, connection here and using a clockwise motion, you'll be able to tighten this over the caps and this is gonna compress those weather seals and make sure that you've got an extremely tight connection. So once that's connected, we can move towards connecting the harness to the battery. Connecting our harness to our battery is extremely easy. All you need is a size 10 socket for your positive terminal here and a size eight socket for your terminal here on your ground side. So you're gonna take the ground terminal, this uh, golden round ring from, that's connected to the black wire on your harness, and you're just gonna put that where you remove this nut and then put the uh, nut back on the, to the bolt using your size eight socket. And then you're gonna do the same thing on this positive side with the red wire Put the golden ring back on and then use your size 10 socket to uh, replace this nut. And that's all there is to connecting to the battery. So now we can move to installing the switch. What you wanna do is run the harness to this point here on the driver's side. And we're gonna be able to take the switch and run it. There's an opening here on the other side of the door which will allow you to run the switch side like you see here. It's basically gonna come directly. This part is gonna come from the driver's side through this gap and allow you to connect uh, the LED bar harness. So we'll make our connection here. And then now we're gonna show you what it looks like on the other side of the door. So this is what our harness is gonna look like coming from the engine bay. So we wanna get it into the dash area here and mount it. This is where we're gonna mount the switch. Obviously you can mount it wherever you'd like. But uh, what you need to do is pull up on this uh, rubber grommet and then to kind of pop free from the door for jam. And then just take your finger into this AC air port, and just pull directly out on the side dash piece. So we're gonna run our switch up under the uh, rubber grommet there. And then we're gonna kind of apply pressure on this headlight switch panel. <laughs> It'll pop directly out. And that'll allow us again to run our switch directly uh, up under it. And we're gonna go ahead and put that panel back on so, and it pop back into place. 
and then we're going to bring our switch up and mount right to the dash. And then we'll be able to reinstall uh, our side panel, push our rubber grommet back into place, and we'll have our switch and be done. So that's all there is to installing our Cree Pal in the series bar here behind a 2005 Ford F-150 grill. It looks fantastic. The camera just can't capture how bright it is, but not only does it emit a ton of light, but it gives a great look to the truck as well and keeps the truck looking clean since the bar is behind the grill. Highly recommend it for your F-150. You can check it out at F-150LEDs.com. Be sure to click the subscribe button below to stay up to date with all the latest and greatest LED products for your F-150. We truly, truly do appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you at F-150LEDs.com. Thanks guys.